worship God this morning. Let's begin to adore Him right now. Let's begin to thank Him for what the Lord has done for us. I want us to lift our voice in praise. Oh, let's begin to appreciate Him. Let's give that honor to the Lord. That praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's begin to thank Him right now. Somebody lift a voice and worship him. Let's adore him. Let's bless the Lord. Let's glorify your God for the goodness of God, for the mercy of God, for the kindness of God, for the faithfulness of the Lord. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to him. Let's give that glory to him. Let's be thank him and now let's begin to appreciate him. Somebody thank him, worship the Lord with all your heart. Worship the Lord with everything that see you. Let the name of you, oh God, be glorified. Somebody thank him. Let's begin to appreciate the King. Let's begin to appreciate Emmanuel, the Lord Almighty, great King. Great King, wonderful King, glorious King. Somebody, let's give that thanks to Him. Let's give that praise to Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Let's give that worship to Him. Let's give that praise to the Lord for what the Lord is doing right now, for what the Lord is doing in your home, in your family, in the life of your children. Thank Him this morning. Somebody, thank the Lord. With everything that's in you, let's give the Lord the praise. Let's give the Lion of Judah the praise that he deserved this morning. Let's shout a big shout before him. Let's honor God of heaven, the rock of ages, our Lord, our strength, our place of refuge. Somebody give that praise to him. What a mighty God that we shall that heaven and earth bow before him, even the angels worship him. We are serving the living God. We are serving the living God. We are serving the King of Kings. Appreciate him right now. Give that honor to him right now. Give that love to him right now. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we adore you. We adore your name. We adore your name. Praise be the Lord. Somebody thank him for, for, for what God is doing in your life right now. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that honor to whom is due to receive all the glory. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou art created all things for thy pleasure. For thou art created all things for thy pleasure, O God. Let's lift our voice and bless him. For thou art created all things for thy pleasure. O God, we thank you. Jehovah God, we worship you. Rock of ages, we thank you. Our Lord, we give you praise. Our King, we bless your name. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. Give that praise to Him. Give that praise to the Lord. Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Shekelo. Lord, we give that praise to you. We honor you for who you are. We honor you for your grace. We honor you for your blessing. We honor you for your love. We honor you for your grace. We honor you. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, everlasting Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Everlasting Father, 
everlasting son, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Let's lift our voice and just begin to honor the Lord right now. Lift our voice and begin to worship Jehovah God right now. Let's lift our voice and begin to thank Him right now. And begin to worship Jehovah God that deserve all the glory, that deserve all the honor, that is worthy of praise, that is worthy of honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank everlasting Father who worship you. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Son, the more we go, we are Let's begin to worship you over God. Let's begin to praise Him from the bottom of our heart. Let's begin to appreciate Him for what the Lord is doing for great things. Thank Him as a everlasting Father, His everlasting Son, the Mother Holy Ghost, the King of Kings, the Rock of Ages, our place of strength, power. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank Almighty God. Thank Him for what the Lord is doing right now in your life, around you, in your life, in the life of your children. Let's thank the Lord what the Lord is doing in your life. Thank the Lord what the Lord is doing around you right now. Let's lift our voice and worship Him. Let's lift our voice and honor Him. Let's lift our voice and begin to praise Him. For great things, for great things the Lord will do, for great things that He will do for you, for great things that He's doing in your life. Let's appreciate Him. Let's appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate the King. Let's appreciate the King of Kings. Let's appreciate the Lord of Lords. Let's appreciate all men important God. Let's appreciate all many signs, God. Let's appreciate Him. Lift a voice, bless Him. Lift a voice, honor Him. Lift a voice, glorify Him. Bless His holy name for what the Lord is doing, for what the Lord Jehovah God will do. Let the name of God be praised. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised. Let the name of the King be praised. Let the name of the Lord be worshipped. For great things the Lord is doing right now. For great things the Lord will do for you. For great things the Lord will do in your life. Let's open our heart to God and bless the name of our God. Let's open our heart to God and worship Jehovah God. For great things the Lord is doing for great things the Lord will do in our life for great things the Lord will do in our own let's open our heart to God let's begin to worship him father we thank you father we glorify you father we honor you father we praise you father we adore you father we worship your name Father, we lift our voice before you. 
before you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, Everlasting Father. Thank you, Omnipotent God. Thank you, Omnipotent God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody thank him. Just look around. Look at your life. Just give that praise to him. Thank him for this beautiful morning. Thank for the grace of salvation. Thank him for the grace of coming to him, of knowing him, of calling upon his name. Thank him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Glorify your name, O oh God. We glorify your name. We glorify your name. Thank everlasting Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank everlasting Father. I worship my God. Oh. of your life. Jesus can be lifted all. He will draw men unto himself. Lift him all. Lift him up this morning for what he has done for him and for what he will do. Lift him all. Jesus, we thank you. Holy Spirit of God, we will. Everlasting Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank Holy Spirit. Thank El Shaddai. Thank Holy Spirit. Mazuko Tori Ma Oso Tolebo. Rapa Toli Ma Anzulebo. Lift it higher. Lift it higher. Lift it higher. For what he has done, lift him higher. 
for what he be doing lifting higher. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Reposon to him as he cut Lift Jesus higher. Let the name of God be praised. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised. Let the name of Jehovah God be worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship the Lord. Worship the King. Adore the Almighty God. Praise Him for what the Lord is doing. For what the Lord is doing right now. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised. Thank Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. For we glorify you. Father, we honor you. Father, we praise you for what you have done for us. For what you have done in our life. Glorify the name of our God. Glorify the name of our King. Glorify the name of our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray that us begin to ask the Lord that the Lord should forgive every sin. Let's acknowledge who we are before the Lord and ask for the forgiveness of our sin. Let's confess every sin before Him. Let's confess our sin. Let's agree with God this morning. Let's agree with God this morning over our sin over the iniquity of our heart in the name of Jesus. He said, if I hear iniquity in my heart, he said, the Lord will not hear me. Every iniquity in my heart, O God, that will not make God to hear us. Let's begin to agree with him and confess him those sins before him. Let's agree with God and confess those sins before the Lord and ask for forgiveness of the Lord. He said, with God, there is there's forgiveness. He said, with God, there's abundance of mercy. Let's acknowledge our, ourselves before Jehovah God that the Lord against you. I've sinned against your word. Lord, I've sinned the name of Jesus. Forgive me all my sin. Ask the Lord for that forgiveness of that sin. Now ask the Spirit of God to help you to overcome flesh in the name of Jesus. Ask for the power of God to overcome, for the Spirit of God to overcome Somebody lift your voice to God. Ask for the Spirit of God to overcome in the name of Jesus. Pray for enablement of the Lord. Pray for the power of the Lord to help you to walk rightly with the Lord, to walk faithfully with you over God. Pray for the strength of God wherever you are. Somebody pray right now in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Pray and ask the Lord for the strength of Him. Ask for the Spirit of God to help you in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Ask for that strength. Ask for that power. Ask for that Spirit to come to help you in the name of Jesus. To walk righteously with Him. To walk faithfully with the Lord in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Ask for the power, ask for the spirit of Jehovah God to walk righteously with him, to walk faithfully with the Lord. Pray and begin to ask for the strength of heaven. Pray and begin to ask for the power of heaven. Pray for an enablement of the spirit of him, the power from above to walk righteously with God in the name of Jesus, to walk righteously with God. Open your heart to him. Pray for that strength. Pray for that power. Pray for that strength. Pray for that power. Pray for that strength. Pray for that power. In your life. In your home. In your family. Pray for that power. Pray for that power in your life. Pray for that spirit to overcome. Pray for that power to overcome. Pray for that spirit to overcome. Pray for that power to overcome. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. Pray for Holy Spirit of God to come and fill your heart, to come and fill your life. Pray for the Holy Spirit of God 
to come and reign in you in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Holy Spirit of God to come and begin to direct our path, to come and begin to lead our path. Pray that Holy Spirit should come, Holy Spirit of God to move in your life, to move in your own, to move in your heart, to move in your thought, in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for that victory, victory of the Lord, victory of Jehovah God to come in your life right now. To come and reign, to come and reign life with your children, to come and reign in your marriage, open your heart to pray that the victory of the Lord to manifest in your life, to manifest in your own, to manifest in your family, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Pray and talk to God that the victory of the Lord to come in the name of Jesus. Pray for enablement of power. Pray for enablement of His grace in the name of Jesus. Pray for enablement of God's power. Pray for enablement of God's grace in your life right now, in your home right now, in your family right now, in the life of your children right now. Pray for strength of the Lord. Pray for the strength of the Lord. Pray for the strength of Jehovah God. Pray for the strength of heaven. Pray for the power of heaven. Pray for the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus to come to rule, to rule in your heart, to come to reign and reign in your heart, to come to rule and rule in your heart, to come to reign and reign in your heart. Pray for that power, the power of God to come and fill you, the power of God to come and fill your life, fill your own through your mind, right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer that you need the Spirit of God to come and help you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Tell the Lord, Lord, deliver me in your power this morning. I want you to lift your voice and talk to God. Say, Lord, deliver me in your power this morning. I want you to lift your voice before the Lord. Say, Lord, deliver me in your power. Set me free in your power. In the name of Jesus. You see, when there is spirit of God, there is a liberty. Tell Lord, deliver me in your power. Set me free in your power. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray before the Lord. That Lord God of heaven to deliver us. In the power of him. Somebody begin to pray to God. Lord God of heaven. Deliver me in your power. Jehovah God, deliver me in your power. Somebody begin to pray and ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, deliver me in your power. Somebody begin to pray and talk to God. The Lord God of heaven to deliver us in his power. In the power of him. In the power of Jehovah God. Let's pray. Let's ask the Lord. Father, deliver me in your power. In your power this morning. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray the Lord God of heaven. Pray and talk to God. Open your heart to pray. Somebody pray. Pray and talk to God. Open your heart to pray. In the name of Jesus. As a law, Father, deliver me in your power from this sickness in the name of Jesus. Mazuko Toyarabo, open your heart and pray. Ekatoria Mosotoyawa, La Parusotoyawa, pray, pray, pray. Tell the Lord in the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, my Lord and my God. Mazika Talabo, Mazuko Toya, Rapasuto Toya. Repotoria Makosheke Aum, Matuli Ate, Rapasutuli, Rapatute Keraba, Repatoria Makosutula, La Ketulia, Neripateria, Mazike Telebo, open your heart and pray in the name of Jesus, as a law in the name of Jesus, Mazike Telebo, open your heart and pray, Mazuko Tolia. La prendo shikere. Open your heart and pray. Mazuka teya. 
pray, pray, pray. Reposon to you. Open your heart to God. Deliver me in your power. El Shaddai. Somebody pray that prayer. Pray and talk to God. Let me be free in your power this morning. In the name of Jesus. Let me be free in your power this morning. Somebody pray. Open your heart and pray. Pray to God. In the name of Jesus. Let your life be delivered. Let your home be delivered. In the power of the Lord. Makatoliama. Masutotoliabu. Materia makusatelia. Somebody pray. Mazukotoliabu. Pray, pray, pray to God. In the name of Jesus. Pray to God. Mazutotolema andeabu. Pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Pray and talk to God. The Lord God of heaven to deliver you this morning. In this power. Open your heart to God. Pray and talk to God. My Father, deliver me from this battle. Deliver me from this sickness. Deliver me from this disappointment. Open your heart and pray. Ask for your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Ask for your deliverance this morning. Ask for your deliverance this morning. Ask for your deliverance this morning. Somebody pray and ask for your deliverance. Somebody pray and ask for your deliverance. Somebody pray. Open your heart to me. Pray and talk to God. The Lord Jehovah God to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Pray for your deliverance this morning. Pray for that deliverance this morning. Deliverance from the Lord. From that power of darkness. From that power of failure. From that power of stagnancy. Open your heart to God. Pray as in Jehovah God. Deliver me in your power. Deliver me in your grace. Deliver me. Somebody begin to pray that prayer. That Lord God of heaven to deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me from disappointment. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what you are battling with. I don't know what is battling with you. But you can ask God for that deliverance. From that shame. In the name of Jesus. Pray for that deliverance. That's why he came. To destroy the works of the devil. That's why Jesus manifests. In Parosata. To put the works of the devil to shame. Every works of the devil. Failure. Sickness. Barrenness. Disappointment, stagnancy, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Let God begin to deliver your life in the name of Jesus. Let God begin to deliver your children in the name of Jesus. Pray for that deliverance right now. Makatoyaba. Pray for that deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. Deliver me from shame. Deliver me from death. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Somebody pray for your deliverance right now. Let heaven begin to set you free. Let heaven begin to deliver you from untimely death for shame of life. Open your heart to pray. Pray that prayer this morning. Ask for your deliverance. That Lord God of heaven to set your life free. Let my life be delivered in your power, in your glory. Let me be delivered in your power. Let me be free. Pray. Can we lift our voice before God in the name of Jesus? And we begin to lift our voice before God of heaven and begin to cry for your deliverance right now. Heaven must set you free. Heaven must deliver you. Heaven must set you free. You must come out of that shame. You must come out of that disappointment. You must come out of untimely death. Open your heart to pray. Somebody pray that prayer. Somebody pray that prayer. Listen to your Pray for your deliverance right now. Open your heart to God. Pray for your deliverance right now. You are coming out of a shame. No more shame in your life. No more shame in my home. No more shame in my family. Open your heart to God. Pray as the Lord for the deliverance of your life. In the name of Jesus. For the deliverance of your life. Pray for that deliverance of your life. Pray for that liberty of your life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray the Lord. I break loose today the yoke that hold me. So we will tell the Lord, I break loose today the yoke that hold me. With everything that hold you, that hold you not to receive what you need in life, with everything that hold you not to get what you want in life, 
whatever thing that holds you not to let the miracle happen, I break the you today with everything that owed me. I want to begin to lift your voice and begin to pray that you break the yoke with everything that owed your children. The yoke that I break to lose today, the yoke that owed me, that owed you in loneliness, that owed you down in barrenness, that owed you in that wilderness. You want progress, but progress is not happening. You want to move forward. Moving forward is not happening. You want your joy, you want peace. Peace is not showing forth. Lift your voice, that yoke that owed you. I break loose today. The yoke that owed me. Whatever yoke that owed you, I break loose today. The yoke that owed my dream. The yoke that owed my life. The yoke that owed my marriage. The yoke that owed my children. I break loose today. The yoke that owed me. Can we lift a voice and begin to pray? Begin to break loose today. The yoke that owed you, the yoke that owed your life, begin to break loose today. I break loose today. The yoke that owed my children, say you break loose today. That yoke that don't want that thing to work well. That yoke that don't want every good things to happen to you. The yoke that owed my life, I break loose today. The yoke that owed my miracle, I break loose today. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray in the name of Jesus. Pray and talk to God. Pray and talk to God in the name of Jesus. Repatoria Open your heart to God. Pray and talk to Him. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Break loose today. That yoke of barrenness that hold you, that yoke of lack and shame that hold you, that yoke of disappointment that hold me. I break loose today. That yoke in my family, you must come out of it. That thing that happening yearly, yearly. That thing that is happening monthly, monthly. In that every generation battle. Every generation sickness, Jesus have nailed me to the cross. I break loose today. Meyeke toriaba, moson toriama o, lemprende kitelebo, bakon toriabo, lemprendo shiketelebo. In Jesus name, we pray. I will ask a question. You know, did Eli, did Eli pray for Anna? Or do you think Anna, she's praying, but Eli put the seal on the prayer of Anna? Which one that happened? Eli put a seal on prayer of Anna, or Anna, she's praying. Which one? He did the seal upon her request. Or Eli prayed for, uh, for Anna. Which one? I don't, do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you get the question? Did Eli put the seal Upon her request, or she prayed for her. Which one she's praying for her? You know, she which one had in between. When you look at that very fast, she put a seal. Eli, he put a seal upon her request, or she prayed for her. No, he prayed for her. He he prayed for her. Which one happened? Because Eli is a man. Um, what happened? She was another afraid. Okay, he put a seal by it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Is there one person? What's your own opinion? Because I'm going somewhere where I'm asking you. Did Eli just, you know, start praying for me? Or she's praying for herself? Which one? Anna prayed for herself. Or Eli prayed for her? Which one? Okay, somebody said, okay. Anna prayed, but Eli put a seal on her prayers. Okay, yes, okay. That's what happened. So, you need to pray. Every man of God is a seal to your prayer. It has to be a seal to every request that you have. Because if you're a child of God, you must find a place to communicate with God without going to it. If truly God will put you in a point to have a fellowship, because prayer is a fellowship with God. It is a seal to what she's asking 
before the Lord. She was praying for herself already. Even the man thought she has drunk. That she said, drunk her. So I look, oh no, I'm pouring my heart to God. And so keep that your request. The Lord will answer. That's why the man of God is there to put a seal upon every request. Where you have had a time with God. So your time with God is matter a lot. Many of us sometimes just look at the man of God to pray for you. It's okay. I'm not saying it's not good. But it's how what you depend on is zero. Is zero. Hallelujah. You must come. Everyone has to reach out to God by faith, not by my own faith. Is your faith have to reach out to God? Hallelujah. And God asked other people to come your way. Look at it. God will order someone to come your way. After you have made your request known, God will order whether you want to send the man of God to you. God is the one that will order your step to the place. The step of the righteous man is ordered by God. Hallelujah. So, what am I talking about? You need to pray. You need to pray for yourself. You need to pray for your children. If you depend on somebody, if you think I'm praying for you, I'm not saying I'm not praying for you. Not It will not be as you. You are praying for yourself. You know, oh, pastor, are you praying for me? So, I mean, 24 hours, the pastor is thinking about you. And you know, that's, he has many things in his head to think about. He has to think of his own self too. So, but you yourself, you put your, yourself in a place of prayer. God can send you to put a seal. God can direct your path. God can lead you to, you know, to come in agreement with you. I'm not saying you should not call your pastor to agree with you. I'm not saying you can call agree. But I will say, where well, two, you pray of agreement is okay. If you think you cannot, you have been praying and you seem that oh, you need just someone to agree with you. The Bible acknowledge that you can find somebody to agree with you. So maybe just agree together. But the main thing is to find yourself in a place of prayer. You, yourself. Because in the place of prayer, God develops us. In the place of prayer, flesh is broken in us. And the Spirit of God reign in our heart. So you need to pray. And I believe God is ready. He said, Pastor, but I'm praying. I'm praying. And I know many of you, you say you have been praying all this while. Sometimes when you have been doing that now, you need to sit back and ask God, what are you telling me? If you have been praying and you have asked the Lord and you have applied faith, then you have sowed seed, all kind of stuff that you have done. Now sit back and ask the Lord, what are you telling me now? What do you want me to know out of this? Because God is powerful. God is greater than what we are passing through. He's a place of refuge. He's our shepherd of our life. Maybe sometimes we think we're looking unto God, we look to God and look unto men at the same time, it cannot work. Praise the Lord. If we look unto God and look unto men at the same time, and our, our total heart is not depend on God, it cannot work. Our heart must depend on Him for everything. And you will see the end of God in your life. God is the one that told us to pray. And the one that told us to pray, ever ready to answer to every request. You see why well, I'm not getting it? Well, I'm, I know not every request that Lord will grant unto us, which I will not everything you ask. In, at that moment you ask the Lord that Lord just give to you you know sometimes many things is not good for us you think it's good for you well, but you think no I don't think so for now I want to prepare you for this you know God knows better but I know he has told us he will supply every need God has promised he will supply every, all your needs not all what you want all your needs he said but I need victory he's going to give you victory Today, the Lord will manifest. In the place of prayer, your heaven will open. In that place of prayer, you will not be tired. You know, the joy of prayer is to see a result. That's what I said before. In the place of prayer, to see a result. Today, your life shall see that result. In the name of Jesus. There shall be a result in your life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, Lord Almighty, whatever that old me. Not to receive, because whatever that old me, not to get what I need, realize what that old Daniel, upon the request of Daniel, is the prince of Persia. 
whatever what old Daniel is the prince of Persia that owed him not to receive to die whatever that owed you not to receive the request not to receive the manifestation of that your request before the Lord that Lord will shame it open your heart to pray that did that play whatever you that owed me not to receive my blessing not to have what I need make okay that also depriving you upon what you need Disappointment in my life in the name of Jesus. No more sickness in your life. Open your heart to pray. You are breaking loose from that yoke. I'm breaking loose from that power. I'm breaking loose from that spirit in the name of Jesus. I'm breaking loose from that power. I'm breaking loose from that yoke in the name of Jesus. I'm breaking loose from that power. I'm breaking loose from that yoke. In my life, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking loose from the yoke. I'm breaking loose from the power. I'm breaking loose from the yoke. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. You are breaking loose from the power. I'm breaking loose from the yoke. I'm breaking loose from the power. I'm breaking loose from that disappointment. Whatever that take hold of you. In Jesus' name, we preach that is send your fire and remove every stumbling block out of my way. And that thing is needed in your life, surely. That's that in your prayers. That's that in things in your life that is needed. Even the God of heaven knows that you need it. And that's what the enemy is deciding. God himself knows that you need it. Hello. There's such a thing in your life, God himself, without no doubt. Ah, my son, my daughter, she need that car. I'm just giving an example. God know that, oh, my son, my daughters need that house. God of heaven knows that you need money. Yes. Speaking in tongue, don't do it here in this world. You need physical money, you need anything, you know that. God will not go against what is in operation. What has been said, you have to work with money, you work for money, and yeah, you work for money, you have to pay with money. You know, you, there's no magic somewhere, hallelujah. There's no magic somewhere, you know, you need money. Even when Jesus was asked to pay the tax, he did not speak to the town, he told Peter to perform a miracle. That's a miracle right there because the miracle is that the miracle behind it. A fish can never swallow any coin, any matter. Fish can never swallow it. So for, for you to find a matter in a fish is a miracle. Because fish will not swallow anything matter. Anything matter, it will never swallow it. So for you to find a coin in the fish, that's a miracle right there. That's a miracle behind it. Oh, not just it, just that's a miracle behind it. The impossibility now possible. I pray for your life. The impossibility of you, the Lord will make it possible. In the place they have been denying you, in the place he can tie up upon what you need, upon over request, a great supply, a great, a great surprise that will bring joy to your heart. Shall happen to you. That's a word for you, somebody. You can have about soul to have that miracle that will bring joy to your heart in the surprise way. You can tell you that shall manifest in your life. I receive it. My early amoko so to your land. That miracle be katakapa. That katakapa that will surprise everyone around you. Repotonia that will surprise you and that is going to bring joy into your heart, that will bring peace into your heart, that will bring an end to every trouble of your life, that God 
be grant unto you. Heaven will be grant unto you. Heaven will be grant unto you. Heaven will be grant unto your family. Heaven will be grant unto your children. Heaven will grant unto your marriage. In the name of Jesus, you will receive it. You will receive it. You will receive it. No deny, no holding back. No deny, no holding back. In the name of Jesus. No deny, no holding back. In the name of Jesus. I say no deny, no holding back. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. That let my miracle, my own miracle, happen for me. You must have your testimony. Even if your own, I don't put in the Bible. But you must have your testimony to share. You must have your own Bible to share to people. Yes, even though you, you, your miracle cannot be put in the Bible again. Oh, sister, so, so, so. Oh, the door open. Sister, so, so, so. The brother, so, so. The grand. If your own miracle cannot be put in the Bible as a story again, or as a uh, new. Also, you must have your own testimony of your life of going around and saying, "This the Lord has done this for me. I'm in this position." You must come out of where you are today. Any position that you are in, as you enter this prayer, let heaven bring you out. Say that, Amen. You will come out. Whatever power that lock you down by the mandate of heaven, I speak. By the authority and the power of him, by the power. Post and the aim of God from the beginning of the earth. He has declared to me to come before you this morning. Miketo Yamakoto, you will come out of that battle. You will come out of that battle. You will come out of that struggle. By the aim of the Lord. Makato Yamasikero. And I am a cousin by the aim of Jesus. Idiamako Perosa to see you being free. To see your life being delivered. To see you coming out of that struggle, I said, This money you will come out. Every chain, every covenant, every blood of animal that has been sacrificed to hold you, the blood of Jesus comes with you. Oh, Makai Makoya Masaya, every blood of animal that has been sealed to Kabusa to hold you, the blood of Jesus comes with you. Whatever that be done concerning your life, whatever that be done concerning you, every break that you have, every break. In Jesus' name, you know why I'm always saying this because that what the Lord told me that He wants to set people free. And that's why I will say it. You know, I'm reminding you of what He said that I want to set people free. Hallelujah! Not me. I can't do nothing for you. He himself wants to set people free. So far, you can't see it physically. So he told me, go and sit down there. And then through you, I will speak to them. Hallelujah. Not me. I'm not the one doing it. I can't I myself. I need deliverance. Hallelujah. He said, Pastor, do you think I need? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just to know that you know, I'm nobody. But he himself is the one that is of up to his assignment. So now I can't be here now telling you that Jesus Christ wants to set you free. That Jesus Christ want to deliver you and Jesus Christ hold his mouth. No. I mean, I need to go and do something else. He has to back his word. He has to fulfill his word. He has to respond to it. You have to go in the deeper because that is his mission. He's the one that told me, not me. Hallelujah. I never signed for this. Hallelujah. So you can't be coming without experiencing the God that God. Hallelujah. You can't be coming Without experiencing the covenant of Him over your life. In any areas of life that any have troubled you, today let the battle come to an end. Come out of the disappointment of your life. Whatever thing that you know in your life happening to you, that you are tired of, you say, Come unto me. Now you are here before Him. We gather in His presence. We look unto Him. We call upon His name. We decree in the name of Jesus. Let every battle of your life be over. Whatever thing that you are experiencing, today you can battle about two tires. Whatever your life, your dream is tired of, 
whatever you like because you do have that you are tired of loving your children. Let everyone remove it. See no more. Say that amen. I say see it no more. Say that amen. I say see it no more. Say that amen. I say see it no more. I say say that amen. I say see it no more. I say say that amen. I say see that back no more. Come out of that situation of your life. Oh, be carry my bushat. I speak by the authority of the Lord. I say come out of that situation of your life. Come out of that disappointment of your life. I don't know what you are going through. What everything that you are going through this morning. By the power of the Lord, come out of it. I say come out of what you are passing through right now. I say come out of that situation. Let your God set you free. By the power of the Lord, by the bandage of him. He said, I should declare to you, you are delivered from it. You are delivered from that struggle. You are delivered from that shame. You are delivered from that disappointment. Begin to see the power of God. Begin to experience the miracle of God. Begin to see the glory of God. Begin to see the joy of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. See, I don't want you to have that feeling. You have to take many times for God to answer you. No, God can answer you now. Always have that faith. Don't think, oh, I have to pray, pray, pray before God answer me. No, God can answer you. One thing you just have to do, let's amend our way. That's the main thing. And apply acts in faith. And that's it. I don't think, why well, we have to go through trouble, we have to suffer, suffer. I know in this world you pass through things in life. But when you run to God, and God, you know, God knows that the man, how many of you that you know something, uh, something is if something wants to happen to your child or somebody wants to beat your child and you are there and you just fold your hand. Oh no, 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 no. and your child runs to you. Like a parent, even though some parents don't understand before they, they jump up to that person, they don't care whether they are, they are, the, their child is at fault or the person is at fault, they don't care, they defend right away. Before they, oh, no, no, you, listen, hold on, Mr. Man, you can't beat him or you can't beat her. Explain to me. Even a next time you realize it, oh, okay. You can't run to God with all your trouble as a good father and begin to look at you. You can't run to God as a good father. Remember, God is a good father. I said, continue, let the problem continue. Except you are disobedient to him. When you are obedient to God, he's a good father. He needs to save you. Today, by the power of God, you are saved. He's a good shepherd. He says he's a good shepherd. See the word he says, when the wicked, even the enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble. Psalm 27, verse 2. He says, the wicked one, the one that look at your life, say, no progress. The one that look at love your children say they will not move forward. He said they came to eat up your flesh, to eat up your dreams, to eat up your life. The Bible said they stumble. Today, the enemy of your life will stumble. They will stumble. The enemy of your life will stumble. They will fall. They will stumble. And rise no more. They will stumble and rise no more. Those that say no, let your position continue in failure. Today, Jesus, Jesus Christ has occupied that place. Jesus Christ has occupied your place of failure. He, 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 he occupied the place for you so that you will not come in anymore. Jesus, do you know that Jesus took your place? That's what it is. He took our place in place of judgment. What's supposed to be for us? He took the place we are supposed to die. Jesus, because Christ has, God has put a course that we are supposed to die. Our lives are supposed to fail. Things are supposed to happen to us. And Jesus said, no, I will took that place. He took the place. He took the place of you. The punishment of you. Why think Jesus was beating? He has no sin. Not because he suffered as a sinner. Oh, not Jesus Christ died as a criminal. But he was put in the place of criminal. He suffered as a criminal. Because of you, he took your place. Why? You have to be in that place anymore. 
when someone has took your place. Today, by the power of the Lord, come out of that place in the name of Jesus. Jesus has took that place. Let the liberty of Jesus begin to come to you. And yet, by the power of the Lord, he can have about to declare over oh, many questions before you. Let heaven answer in the name of Jesus. Let your doors open. Not only they begin to see it happening, and that's what you begin to see it happen in your life. That has to be. When Eli said to Anna, Go in peace, the Lord Jehovah God, God of Israel has answered your prayer. She acted in faith that she believed right away. She never doubt in her mind. Right away, she put her shell up. She shared herself up because she knew that faith has been released. Listen, and, and she went home and that thing manifests. The same thing has to happen in the place of prayer. You can't be coming without the physical of it. Without the manifestation of that job. Without the manifestation of that power. Without the evidence of that miracle. I pray this morning. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Receive the manifestation of your universe in every area. Let everything that surround you respond to your healing, respond to your deliverance, respond to your open doors. No more delay. I yet declare your battle is over. Your shame come to an end. Go in the blessing of God. Let your enemies stumble and rise no more. Let your barrenness come to an end. Let your loneliness come to an end. You are delivered from that sickness. You are delivered from that battle. Begin to see a great result. Begin to see the positive things. Where you need the help of God, begin to see help. Where you need a miracle, begin to experience miracle. Your trouble is over. Your battle is over. In the name of Jesus. But the mandate of heaven I declare over this to you. And let this happen as of this moment. Begin to see the power of God. Ask God for what you need right now. Tell him where you need it. Ask the Lord in faith. I need my miracle. Lord, I need that joy. I want my mirror, I want my children to move forward. Ask God in faith wherever you are. Somebody open your mouth and pray and ask God, what do you need this morning? Why are you here? Tell the Lord, God is able. Tell you, I see this no more. And let everyone seal it. I experience failure no more. Let everyone seal it. No more lack. Let everyone seal it. No more banish. No more issue of blood in my life. Let heaven seal it. No more delay. Let heaven seal it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, good God. Thank you, righteous one. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Can I say that amen three times? Amen. Just follow it. Amen. Say it one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. So let it be unto you according to your request in the name of Jesus. Return back with a testimony. That shall be your portion in Jesus' name we pray. Shout that hallelujah for that victory. Shout hallelujah for your open doors. Shout hallelujah for God we do it. Shout hallelujah for God we open that door for you. Shout hallelujah for the manifestation of your miracle. Shout hallelujah that they will grant unto you, they will sign it up for you. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, they will sign it, they will sign it for you. Shout hallelujah. Glory be to Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, our Lord we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Just put in mind of the prayer no, tomorrow. Remember this Wednesday, today's Wednesday, the Bible discussion where you can join on Zoom. I encourage you, you know, the Word of God is blessed. You pray also, find time also for the Word of God. Satan don't say that Satan never move it. He's not afraid when you pray. He's only afraid when you apply the Word of God, use the Word of God against him. You know, Satan, yeah. So that's why the Word of God is very important. What God says. And what God wants to hear from us is what He says, not your opinion. God, 
Ah, let me give you suggestion. Let me give you advice. God is complete. So what he need from us is to tell him about his word. Even in the place of prayer, faith coming by hearing, by hearing what God so We need time for the word of God. We need to look, find time for it, study it. You know, man, you know what, what I'm saying is sometimes I realize many people pray, but time less time for the word of God. You know, sometimes and how do you play, pray in understanding? You pray in understanding when the time for the word of God. The word of God is very important. Is the same power because knowledge open your eyes. Starting things, you just need the word of God and the battle is over. That's it. Oh, you know, sometimes you look at the word of God. Oh, this is what God says about me. I hold on to you, and devil will leave you because you don't have the understanding. That's why Satan is working in that area. So the word of God open our eyes. He say, Pastor, he just wants us to come over. No, let's put it aside. You know, I see people pray, people sometimes our prayer sometimes so funny. Yeah, and sometimes our prayers are so funny. You know, listen, so, hmm. is it scriptural? Is it biblical? Is it what God will listen to, or just you know? But when we have to understand what the Word of God says, your position in God and God's position in your life, you know, it opens our eyes. You know, so it's very important. I'm not saying I'm not saying you should not. I'm not. I'm just saying generally to every one of us how the Word of God is very important. It gives you understanding, you know, not what my pastor says, you know, what this one says, you know. Sometimes we are moved by the spirit, you know, emotion sometimes, you know, sometimes we are moved by emotion. And what what will come the emotion is what the word of God look at what God says. And you hold on to it. And that's miracle upon your life. Hallelujah. So the word of God is very important, you know. Just have time for listen. You know, read, you know, it's, it's good, it's good, it's very important in our life, just to have to understand what God says, it's very important, not to pray, not to just pray, 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 jump, 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 no, no, look at the word of God, and uh, see what God says, and go back to you and tell him, and that's it, he will honor it, he will never say no, God will never say no to what he says, you told me this, and you stand by it, he will never say no to it. He is not a man to lie. I pray the Lord will give us the understanding, the knowledge of his word will come upon us in Jesus' name. I pray that we will not falter in the name of Jesus. As you come before the Lord, you will see the Lord. What a joy of what the joy of it. When you come before the Lord as you pray this morning, and you see the hand of God in your life. What a joy that will it be. You will be happy. Ah, you will know someone behind you. Someone beside you, someone ahead of you. Today you will see the hand of God. You will see the power of God. You will see the glory of God. The Lord will appear to every city of your life. Light will shine in the name of you. You begin to enjoy the Lord. We will begin to enjoy the Lord. In every area of life, we will begin to enjoy the Lord. We will begin to enjoy the Lord. We will begin to enjoy the Lord. So shall it be in Jesus' name. We pray that water is covered by the blood of Jesus. Go in God's blessing and return with a great testimony. Let's share the grace together. But the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. May we touch now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and message follow us all the days of our life. We shall then ask of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody say that? Amen. 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 You are blessed. Believe in your heart. You have received it, no doubt. You see, when you pray, believe, that's the truth. Just give thanks to God. Leave the rest for Him. If you have to take a step, take a step of faith. If you have to call somebody, call them. If you have to position yourself, position yourself. If you have to do certain things, do certain things. If you have to go somewhere, go to that place. You know God has go ahead of you. Pray and you take a step. Pray and take a step. If you have to make a request, I'm making this request. Hallelujah. Act in faith. And you see, the power of God have gone ahead of you to turn things around. God bless you. See you later on. Bye-bye.